Matrices containing complex numbers are called complex matrices. There is a set of operations for such kind of matrix. Learn about them here in Numerical Solutions to CE Problems. Real matrices are those with natural numbers as elements. Matrix A as shown is a complex matrix as some of its elements are made up of complex numbers. But note that there are still natural numbers in the matrix. Recall that a complex number is a combination of real and imaginary number. The operations of complex matrices also follow the same procedure as real matrices. In adding or subtracting them, the condition of having equal matrices applies. Check the two matrices presented. Both have the size 2 by 3, that is 2 rows by 3 columns, and thus they are equal and adding or subtracting the elements is possible. Let's have A plus B for an example where for element 1, 1, we add 1 plus 3i with 0, which gives 1 plus 3i. Element 1, 2 for a plus b is computed by adding 2 and negative 2 minus 2i, where the real numbers cancel out to leave negative 2i. For the next element 1, 3, we combine 5 minus i with 3 minus i, and that gives us 8 minus 2i. The next row starts with element 2, 1, where we add negative 4i with 1 plus i. Collecting the real numbers, we have 1, and the imaginary numbers result to negative 3i. Moving on to element 2, 2, we have 6 plus 2i plus negative 4 minus 2i, where the imaginary numbers cancel out, leaving positive 2. The last element 2, 3 got 1 plus 2i with negative 3 minus 3i. So we get negative 2 for the real number, and 2i plus negative 3i results to negative i. Take note that multiplication of matrices require conformable matrices, and there is also a specific procedure for multiplying complex numbers, like the FOIL method. One operation of matrices is called complex conjugate. The operation is designated by a bar on top of the matrix's name. In complex conjugate, focus on the imaginary number only and change its sign. Say matrix A, for example, we can have bar A by transforming the signs of the imaginary number elements, like for A11 of 1 plus 3i, its complex conjugate is 1 minus 3i. With element 1, 2, we don't have any imaginary number, but only the real number 2, so we don't have any sign reversal for the element. Next is element 1, 3 which is 5 minus i, and its conjugate is 5 plus i. For element 2, 1 of negative 4i, its complex conjugate is positive 4i. And same is followed for element 2, 2, making it 6 minus 2i. And the last element 2, 3, resulting to 1 minus 2i. The other operation for complex matrices is Hermitian transpose, which is also called conjugate transpose or simply transjugate. The operation is notated as a superscript H for Hermitian or a superscript dagger with the matrix's name. And this is taken as the transpose of the matrix's complex conjugate. With the same matrix used in a prior example, Hermitian transpose is taken as the matrix's complex conjugate. And then, take the transpose so A dagger inverts the elements from rows into columns.